number one stuff in prepping, make sure your wagon tires are blown up. This is not a good start. Okay, so now I gotta find buckets for water. And I just realized I don't have any five gallon buckets, I don't think. I don't. No, we're preppers. <laughs> we're preppers. Let's get one of my new rain barrels. Okay, now you might say, why is Dave behind the camera and Dave not doing this? Because part of prepping is walking through what you're doing to see what you need to do. If Dave is dead, he's not gonna help me do the laundry. No offense, Dave, I love you and I hope you don't die. No, I probably wouldn't help you with the laundry anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but that's part of the reason why I'm walking through this. Oh my goodness, wow, this is heavy. Oh. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to start building strength. That should work, right, Dave? Sure. <laughs> Tell me it'll work, Dave. Uh, so, it'll work. Yes. Okay, and then we'll turn it around. Okay, now we're ready to go get water. Okay, we made it to the creek. Now, let's find the best place to do this. Good luck. Thanks, good luck. Whatever happens, just keep recording, okay? But what if you fall in? Hold on, then just keep recording. Yes, Millie. Well, I'm nervous, but in a survival situation, you would die very quickly. In a survival situation, I would die very quickly? Why? We didn't okay. have very many mishaps. So as we were editing the video, I realized I forgot to explain something. The reason why I told Dave to keep filming was because my mother told me, now don't go falling in the creek. So I was going to intentionally fall in the creek and I wanted to get Dave's reaction when I did it without telling him, of course. So that's why I told him to do it. And then I went and did this. So I'm bringing the spout close here so that I can get the hose on easy because this is going to be heavy when, we, when I'm done filling it, okay? Route. Maybe you need to use some better shoes. Yeah. I'm probably going to need five gallons for washing and five gallons for rinsing, maybe. We'll see. Holy cow, do I only have three gallons? Oh my. Okay. Do you want me to help? Dave. Oh, I forgot I'm dead. Probably dropped in the same river you're taking the water from. Yes, exactly. I made it, Dave. Even though you're dead, I made it. Good job. Thanks, Dave. Appreciate it. Okay. There's a reason why the mothers had the sons haul the water. Oh my goodness. There's also a reason why all the pioneers were skinny. All right, now we're gonna head back to the house and hope 10 gallons of water is enough to wash laundry. Dave doesn't think I can do this. Here we go. I'm right okay, behind her, I so. I see why Dave has gallons. Oh my goodness. But you're good, Dave. Don't forget you're dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. Okay, Dave. I think you're right. You know, do you want me to... No, but you're dead, Dave. Remember, you're dead. We're stopping to enjoy the beauty the Lord has provided for us. Right, Dave? That's why we're stopping? <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, yeah.
This is where you... Dave gets resurrected. This is where Dave gets resurrected. <laughs> well, I was going to say, this is where you repeat, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Or that. Struggle. Mental note to self. Collecting water and washing are on two separate days. Holy cow, Dave, you can't die. You okay. I, I need your muscles in an emergency situation. So now I need a table to put the sink on, and I think this one's gonna work. Are you still dead, Dave? Yep. I think I am, yeah. Oh, shoot. You sure I'm dead? I'm starting to think this prepping stuff's for the birds. If we actually have to do this in real life for an emergency situation, we are going to be wearing our clothes for a week. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take a nap before we do the wash. <laughs> Holy cow, that was a lot of work. You know, maybe just take the whole day off. I'm thinking. Okay, so as we are doing this, we realize the <laughs> ringer instructions say no zippers, snaps, or buttons. No zippers, snaps, or buttons. You can go through the ringer. So that's like 50% no, of your clothes. Yeah. Large buttons, snaps, or zippers. <laughs> Large <laughs> buttons. So I don't so, know. I'm assuming this is a small button right there, I'm assuming. So maybe they're meaning the big chunky buttons, like on a sweater, I guess. I don't know. This, if it's this tight, it would mess up the any buttons, I would think. Then the next problem we noticed was um, tipped over their wash buckets because you're not going to want to use valuable water cleaning out your wash bucket. Yeah, that's true. So we have to clean out the wash bucket first with our 10 gallons of water we got right there. Oh, we have water. Look, there's water. Water. Water's coming out. See, water coming out. Right there. What in a... <laughs> Woo! Oh, this is good. It's real life creek water. Do you have a, are you prejudiced against creek water, Mother? Well, it looks, I don't know how that's going to get close clean. <laughs> okay, so we're going to take our rag and we're going to clean out our, our thing first. Oh, I like the way you say we and you're Mom's holding the camera. Clean it first. Oh, gross. Because I would have cleaned this before we put the rock in there. Because <laughs> now we're doing Oh, my word. <laughs> you have to have a strong constitution, that's for sure, to do these things. You're going to have to get used to killing that chicken and wringing its neck and cooking it. And after I did this thing, I think I could do a chicken. Yeah. Okay, do we want the washboard or are we going to do it against the rock? I'm not beating anything against a rock. Actually, I wouldn't do either. What I would do is fill this sink up and then put the clothes in and let them soak for, say, 30 minutes, an hour. Then I would just swish them around a little bit. What do you use for soap? I would just use Tide. Why not? Why not? If you... Well, we're I mean, doing it the old-fashioned way. Well, the old-fashioned way, you would make your own soap. And a lot of people say to buy the bar soap, you know, the Phil's Nap and that, and, and grate it all up and do all this rigmarole. Now, by the way, we do have a homemade laundry detergent recipe on our website, livingonadime.com, and in our Dining on a Dime cookbook. You can make your own homemade laundry soap. I would not use the Phil's Nap, though, and I'll show you why. Rub the Phil's Nap on here, Mom. 
Here, put it on the rock. Okay, rub it on there. Sometimes, oh, well, that's not as bad. It turns it yellow. I've had it turn it yellow. Yeah, My white's yellow. White. Well, okay. I stand corrected. No, but sometimes but it would. I would test it and see if it's gonna if it's gonna leave something. And another thing is why do all the work of grading and doing all that when you could just use Well, because homemade laundry soap costs like a dollar to make. Well yeah, for, if you're saving money. Yeah. But you so know, that's why they do it. This takes up less space than this. So for prepping, they're thinking less storage. And I guarantee you, we're gonna be wearing every item of clothing for a week. This shirt would go an entire week before it would wash. These pants would go one or two weeks before they're washed. You want me to do the washing? <laughs> I can. I don't know your arm, sir. I can do the washing. Look at the water already, though. <laughs> wash the clean stuff first, the stuff yeah, that's the, the cleanest, cleanest, and then work your way up. I hate to say it, but we really don't want to waste water. But, well, first of all, pour well, water in and see if our sink thing is going to hold first. Just a little bit. Nope. <laughs> no. First of all, you gotta have we, a stopper. <laughs> you gotta have a stopper. But while we have our nasty rag thing here, let's wash this in this water yeah. first. <sighs> wow, this is gonna be fun. Now, since we have this water so nasty, I'm gonna rinse. Rinse down there. What you have to do is pour it down the drain. It won't hold it. So. <laughs> Get our, get our rock all fresh. So I'm not rock, worried about the rock. It's a clothes we gotta get clean. Cleaning our rock. <laughs> what did you do yesterday? Oh, I washed rocks. In my age, they'd have me committed if I told them I now, was washing rocks all morning. Also, what we would do is have a bucket underneath catching the water for the garden. Oh, yum. Wanna get fresh water, Mom? No. Oh, this is gonna take all day. <laughs> Four drops at a time. There's no workman's cop at this joint. I know there's no workman's cop. Two for our viewers. Tara doesn't know I'm recording anything, but we started this about an hour ago. And we haven't even got the first anything washed. Uh oh, here she comes. We have a plastic thing to put. So we're going to put this in first because that'll help some. And that, but I think I'm going to get some rocks. Put it on there real quick. Okay. You, you have a thing with rocks today, aren't you? I think that'll hold the drain. It might. See, now this is a good example of improvising. Oh, water's really coming out the bottom. Okay. So there's dirt on the bottom right there. Maybe that's the problem. Wouldn't Michael have a heart attack over our camera work? Now we gotta figure out how we're gonna plug our hole. Because we're in a prepping situation and we can't well, just run. Here's the spectrum guy, the cable guy. Maybe he can tell us how to. <laughs> <laughs> You've got the blue goo gooey stuff that we could use. Gooey stuff? Oh, that putty stuff that you can buy to hang pictures and posters. Do you have a rubber stopper for your bathroom? Nope. Now see, one reason doing this, now we know to maybe get a rubber stopper at the store to use for this sink. Now we know we need to get a rubber stopper for this. And she's saying all that because she's stalling because we haven't figured out how we're going <laughs> to stop it yet. <laughs> so this video I know is going to be done comment and tell us how you would fix this situation because I'm sure there's something that we are missing that is super simple. <laughs> Let me go in the house and look at the junk drawer. This is making do with what you got, isn't it? This is the toughest plastic I've ever seen. Oh my word. This is not going to fold real easy, so I'm worried about. Okay. I just wanted a flat, very thin edge. This is why they always say have duct tape for your emergency your laundry. kit. <laughs> for your laundry. Oh, see that's wet there, so I don't think it's gonna stick. Now there are easier ways we know to do this, but we're just showing you in case you don't have anything. <laughs> we're doing real life, my dear mom, real prepping. And we have leakage. We have drippage? Yep. Our bucket is now our wash bin. Good idea. <laughs> Why didn't we do that in the first place? I don't have any five gallon buckets, I don't think. <laughs> I was wondering that too. I started to mention it earlier, but I thought, well, maybe she, we want to use this thing. <laughs> it might just pours out. What was that? I am frugal. 
<laughs> and oh, I rinsed out the last little bit of soap with water. Did that get enough in there? I don't know. You need to do quite a bit. Uh, what's wrong with your detergent? Oh my word. Okay. We'll call that good. Oh, I'm washing the boys' underwear by hand. It just topped Why off. Why am I doing all I this? I told you I'll do it. Oh goodness. I guess I did their diapers. I can do this. And probably the shirt will fit too, at least. Mental note to self, I need to get me some five gallon buckets. Can you do see doing seven people in the family's laundry a week like this? Actually, it would go much smoother once you get a pattern down. You know, it's not as yeah. bad. But okay. we're doing real life prepping here. Well, I know. But I'm going to get me a cup of tea with my electric tea, with my electric tea kettle and my running water, <laughs> which after today, I am greatly appreciating my running water. You should get a bicycle generator so I can be generating on the bicycle while you're making your tea water. I think you should. So this is why I'm appreciating it. I can't move my arm hardly now. I, I mean, I can. I'm stretching it to make sure it doesn't stiffen up. But, oh my goodness. I'm hurting. She fell. I'm hurting. Yeah. Well, it's time for a cup of tea. Okay, as we are walking in for a cup of tea here, tell them real quick. Well, be sure to put your white clothes in and do those first, and then your lights, and then the darks. Yep. So the darks. And then the really dirty. Yeah, because then the water will keep all the way down to the darks. Because the darks black, would bleed your, yeah. the dye out and bleed yeah. out. Your black dye won't get on your white clothes. Yeah. I have to say, as we were having our cup of tea, I was sitting here thinking, and I told mommy, I don't know why we didn't just throw it in the dump bucket in the first place. <laughs> Sometimes. You gotta simplify things, guys. <laughs> oh, brother. While we were having a cup of tea, mom came out and put detergent for the white one and is letting it soak Go while on. we work on the rest here, okay? Now you gotta scrub. Yeah, now you now, gotta so look like all that you... I would do is just take each one and just kind of rub it up, which is time consuming, but doing laundry this way is time consuming. I mean, there's a reason why it was an all day affair. Yeah. For them. Normally over here, we would probably have another bucket, but the way things are going today, I'm just gonna catch it. So we're gonna try the ringer for the first Don't. time. The link for this is in the description below. We got it off of Amazon because my wonderful mother bought it for me. Okay, we put it on backwards, did we really? <laughs> so now the water's sweeping out the wrong side. Oh my goodness. Wow. That, That's impressive. That is worth it. Okay, guys, yeah. Holy moly. Okay. Still got more out, but that wow. feels, doesn't feel bad. And you might take like, you know, the guy's armpits to scrub that area that you know is probably dirty. Give it just a little bit. We rub. didn't check for any stains on the front of his shirt. No, we didn't on this one. So but. we need to check for stains because we, mother, this is real life. <laughs> zippers it says so I'm gonna just run them through uh, I think I'm gonna try to run through the legs now see I would have a bucket on this side yeah, to catch, catch it or over here to catch the water, the water. <laughs> <laughs> oh my word see we have a bucket under here now here in Wyoming it works really good in Kansas it wasn't too bad but I put my white things on a sunny day. Yeah. And it will bleach them out more yeah. than you realize. Or if you don't have a clothesline, you, if you lay them on the grass, I have taken my antique linens. Yeah. You know, like my quilts and th doilies and white doilies, and I will put them on the grass. And there is something yeah. about laying those yeah. on the grass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, good grief. <laughs> You put all your small items on the inside. Your small items. Like your socks the and socks underwear. Like will go down here. Yep. Here's my other sock. And this type of thing. Yeah. Then like the t-shirts. Now see, this is the thicker, bigger part. Instead of putting it inside where yep. all the stuff, I you drape it, it over down the edge. here. Yeah. And let the thicker part hang on the outside. Yeah, so it dries easier. So it dries better. And then pants, if you have room, to lay the pants. If you can to lay across, yeah. but I usually don't have that much room. But like so on this one, what I'll do is just stick yeah. them in, and once again let the heavier part yep. and thicker part be on the outside. Oh, that sun's kind of bright. Can I cover myself? Oh, <laughs> you can take and um, 
hang things on the hangers on the shower rack on the shower rod yeah. you know and do Air that rock, type of yeah. thing or something like that yeah so. and uh that's what? how you do laundry <laughs> Go watch this video next on how to properly hang clothes. I'll tell you, this is a huge pet peeve of mom and I. You're doing it all wrong. Yeah. It's the proper way. Link is in the description below. Livingonadime.com.